parents have been asking me for ideas on how to help their children to remember to keep washing their hands in light of this coronavirus outbreak. And so I've modified one of my recipes from the Kitchen Science Cookbook to make this very special soap so that your children can become virus fighting superheroes. All you're gonna need is some hot water, some soap, some gelatin, a muffin case, and your child's favorite small plastic toy or favorite sticker. We know that washing our hands often and thoroughly is one of the best ways to prevent the spread of coronavirus. But what's the science behind this? Well, soap is made out of polar molecules, and polar molecules are basically molecules that have different ends. In the case of soap, one of the ends loves water. We call this hydrophilic. The other end hates water but loves oil. We call this hydrophobic. So if you've ever had to wash your dishes before, let's say I'm gonna take my dishes out of the sink and it's got some grease on there, you know that to get this grease off, what you're gonna do is take dish soap and rinse it with water and that's gonna break the fat and the grease off your dishes. When we wash our hands, it works in exactly the same way. Coronavirus is a special type of virus because it's got a coating called a lipid bilayer on the outside. Basically, this is like the coronavirus is wearing a thick coat made of two layers of fat. So imagine that this is my virus. The confetti on the inside is all of the insides of the virus material, and on the outside, the balloon bit, is basically this double layer of fat. This is how we can imagine coronavirus looking. So if we're gonna wash this with soap, what's gonna happen is our polar molecule is going to have one end, the fat-loving end, be attracted to the fat layer on the outside. And it's gonna to want to burrow in to our confetti balloon. And so as it burrows in, as you can see, it gets punctured and all the virus material goes everywhere. Now, as you wash that with your soap, you wash all the virus material away, and then you end up with clean hands and no virus living. Basically, that's how the virus is destroyed by soap. So let's make some special virus fighting soap. First, you're gonna need a muffin case. You can do a large one or a small one, and then add in a little toy or a sticker making sure that the sticker is facing upside down. Next, take 200 milliliters of boiling water and add two teaspoons of gelatin and stir until it's all dissolved. Now you can find gelatin in the baking section of your supermarket, but please note that it's not halal or vegetarian. If you need this, then substitute with powdered agar. Next, you're gonna add your soap either 100 milliliters of liquid soap, which will make it see-through, or 100 grams of grated bar soap, which will make it opaque. When it's fully dissolved, you're gonna take a muffin tray and put your little muffin cases in there, and then you're gonna fill them up with your little solution. There you go, now you're gonna put these in the fridge overnight. I'll be back. Ta-da, here's some that I made earlier, and you can see that they just pop right out of their mold, and here you have some super-powered virus-fighting soap. Why not encourage your children to charge up their virus superpowers by washing their hands with their unicorn or their dinosaur-powered soap, and with the toys, they can keep washing until they get their toy back out. The soap can be stored in an airtight container so your children can take it and keep it in their bags and use it throughout their day as they're on their mission to stop the spread of the virus. And with that, there's your super powered soap. Happy hand washing. <laughs>